Hey guys, I'm Dave, leader of Skillbase, and in today's Unity tutorial, I will show you how to easily detect if you tap a button once, twice, or if you hold it down. And this will work for any button on your keyboard, mouse buttons, or even UI buttons. And all of that in just a few simple lines of code. So here's a new empty scene, and the first thing you're going to do is of course create a C-sharp script and call it whatever you want. Then open the script in Visual Studio. So here we have our new script, and the first thing we're going to do is delete all of that stuff and instead make a few variables. So the first one will be an integer variable for the tap times, the second one will be a float variable for the reset timer, and the third one is a bool that shows if we're holding down the button or not. So next up we're using the void update function to check if we're tapping our button down. In my case this is the mouse zero button which is the primary or left mouse button. On button click we're increasing the tap times by one. So every time I click now my left mouse button the tap times will go up by one. Then we are checking if the tap times are greater than 2 because if the tap time is greater than 2 then it is a double tap. Now it's no use if the tap times are getting counted up forever so whenever the tap times are 2 or higher we'll set the tap times equals to 0 again. Now we just need another simple if statement to check if our left mouse button is held down. And if it is, we set is holding down to true. And if it isn't, we set is holding down to false. This script would actually already fully detect if the mouse button is tapped once, twice or if it's held down. But there's one more thing to do. Because in a video game, normally it isn't a double tap if you tap once, then wait 5 seconds, and then tap twice, that isn't a real double tap. A double tap needs to happen in like half a second, in minimum. And for this is our reset timer variable, because we are going to create an I enumerator called reset tap times, or call it whatever you want. And then in this I enumerator we are going to say yield return new wait for seconds, then the amount of seconds we are going to wait, which in our case is our reset timer, and then set the tap times to zero. Then we just need to say start coroutine and then the name of the coroutine. And now every time we tap the left mouse button, it starts our coroutine, waits for the reset timer and then resets it to zero. And just like that our script is nearly finished. Just fill in the function you want to be called on a single tap in here, on a double tap in here and on key held in here. So now switch back to Unity, make an empty game object and just attach the tap detector to this game object. And now also set the reset time to about a fifth of a second, that should work. To show you that it actually works, I will now edit a few lines of code to make a text change if I tap single tap, double tap or if I hold the button down. So as you can see I just added a text mesh pro using the text mesh pro asset and when single tapping I set the text to single tap by double tap to double tap and when holding down to is holding down. Let's see if it works. And as you can see if I hit play now. I can do a single tap, I can hold down for is holding down and I can do a double tap. So that's it for the video, hope you enjoyed watching, here's just a little example how you could use this code. In Little Ninja, the game we are currently working on, I used it so if you tap the attack button once, he does a little sword hit, if you keep it down he charges up. And as soon as it's charged up you can release it for a bigger sword hit and if you double tap it he does a whirlwind attack. Just in case you want to know how to use it in a game.